everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this gift box. I'm going to call it, I think I'm going to call it boxes in a box, something like that. There's four boxes in this one kind of casing, I guess. And then you just lift up any one and then it will open up and you have your space for your gift. This will Yes, it will fit a Tonics tea cake, but I'm not going to be putting them in this. I've actually made it for something specific, but I, I can't give that away. But you can see there, if I just bring it up, you've got all that sparkle. And I'll show you how I've done that. And I put some little Nuvo drops in the middle of these little felt poncettias. And I just think it's turned out really, really lovely. I've just got to finish it with a gift tag, which I will do um, when I go to pop the gifts in. So let's get on and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, so I've already done three of the boxes, so I'm going to show you how to make one of those. I've got the mats and layers. This is the paper pad that I've used. I had two of them. I picked them up from the works quite a while ago now. It was probably two, maybe three months ago, and it's the classic Christmas, but you might be able to get them online. I'll share any links if I can find them, but the perf these were the perfect colours with the green and the red cardstock that I had here. And then this is for the sides. So I've already done one half. So I'll just tell you what you need first of all for the, the main box, I guess, that they all sit in. So you'll want two pieces of six by ten and three eighths of an inch. And along the six inch side, you'll want to score at half an inch, two and three quarters, three and a quarter, and five and a half. Okay, do that on two pieces. And then you'll also want two pieces for the short sides of the box, and these are three and a quarter by six. Along the six inch side you want to score at half an inch, two and three quarters, three and a quarter and five and a half. And then along the short side you want to score at half an inch but down to the second score line only. So pass that first one just down to the second one here and then also at two and three quarters pass the first score line again down to the second one and do that on two pieces. And then you'll want four pieces of seven and a quarter by nine and a half for your boxes. Okay, so along the seven and a quarter side, you want to score at two and a quarter, four and a half, and six and three quarters. And then along the nine and a half side, you want to score at two and a quarter, four and a half, six and three quarters, and nine. And again, do that on four pieces. And then the mats for the boxes, you'll want five pieces for each box, and those are two by two squared. Okay, so do you want to get all of that ready? Okay, so first of all we make the boxes. You just want to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, so you will have a half inch tab on the right hand side and a half inch tab on the top. Starting along the bottom, you just want to cut up all the score lines just to the first score line. And then this last piece here, this little bit, just remove completely. Then go along this same side now and just cut up those other score lines. And then actually these last two here, so this tiny one and this one here, you're going to remove all of that. Okay, so you'll then have this little tab and if you just take a little wedge off of each corner, that's all ready now for when we go to put it together. And then working along this side here, you want to cut down all of them, so all these three here, but you're going to go past the first score line and down to the second, like so. Okay, so again I've got the tab there on the right hand side and my other tab on the top. This second section you're going to remove completely. You just fold everything else away and then this one, just get right into that score line and just cut that away completely. So you'll have that. And then these two, you just want to take like half away, so like so, and like so. I'm not being too careful, don't worry if it's not completely straight, but that's what you want to have, and you want to cut that same shape on all of the three other pieces. Now, I'm not going to take anything off of these pieces until we go to, along the top anyway, until we put it together, but along the bottom here, if you just shave a little bit off of the sides, of all of them apart from this one. So the second one in, because that would be the last one you stick down, so you want that to be a nice square shape. But all of the others, you just take away the rough edge really, because you'll have like the score line there. Okay, then what you want to do is add some glue just on the side tab here. And then 
fold it in half, so just that one over and then that one on top and you'll see it all lines up. Just stick that down and then just open it up and just fold it over to the other side like so and just put your bone folder there and just really make sure that glue's all spread out. So now what you'll have is this is obviously the back, this is all going to fold down and this is, should be the perfect square one on the base that you didn't cut into. So then we want to stick our base down, so you want to pop the back one up first and I'm just going to add my glue on here and then pop one side over, keeping everything nice and square. Fold that one over and then this last one, because it's that whole square shape. And just bring that right over. And then open up the top there and just go in and push all that glue down. Okay, now we didn't take anything off the sides here because when you go to fold them in and then this one, you want this to be quite a snug fit. So with the tops, with this top little kind of flap, just take a little bit off the sides, not a lot, very small slither, and see if you can just wedge it in there. Now, if you can't, I can see I've got some score lines still on this tab, so I'm just going to just remove that score line. So again, it's a very small amount, because in order to stop these boxes popping open, this is what you want to do, is just take a little bit away at a time. So now when I fold them in, because I've got a little bit of a gap there now, that's going to be enough for me to wedge this in. Now, if you would rather have a little Velcro fasting maybe, but now you can see that closes and that's not going to pop open. So do that with all of the three other pieces and then you just want to grab your mats and layers, or just your mats, sorry, you might have mats and layers if you want to cut smaller again, but I'm just going to cover all of the sides apart from the bottom. If you want to cover the bottom you can, but you know, no one's really ever going to see that. So I'm just going to now cover these four other sides. Okay, so now I have my four boxes and these are going to be like this. So next we want to make the box for those to go in. So like I said, I've already got these two pieces here and you've already, you've already scored these pieces. So we'll start off with this one because this is really easy to put together. So you just want to fold and burnish those score lines. And all we're going to do with this one is fold over this tab here, run your glue all the way along and then just fold over so that this half inch tab sits over the top of that one, like so, just so you really get it into that shape. And now you should have a perfect kind of like tube, I guess, okay? And then with this one, fold and burnish all of the score lines. And then we just want to do a bit of cutting. So you'll have these score lines here, you won't be able to fold those just yet. These ones here, we want to cut really neatly, because you're going to see this, but cut all the way down to that score line, so as far as you scored, and then you're going to cut across. Now if you've made shadow boxes before, you'll be familiar with this. And then you're going to cut across that one, and then back up, or cut down the same way that you did the other one. But now you'll have that shape, and you want to do that twice. And then what's going to happen is this one is going to stick onto this, so we just want to add a little bit of glue, just on that tab. Lay that one flat, and just fold that one over. And again, get your bone folder just to keep everything nice and flat and spread that glue out. Okay, so now I've got those two pieces. Next, you're going to start popping this together. So we're going to stick this like this. Okay, see how that's going to work together. So I'm going to pop a bit of glue on the bottom of this one, just there. And then just on that triangular bit, just on the inside there, like so. And then I'm just going to pop that in there and pop that underneath there. You should be able to put a little bit of pressure on. This is quite a gr quick grab glue, so just make sure you get a nice right angle, like so. See, that's already dried. Okay, then I'm going to grab this next piece and pop my glue again on there and also in here. 
and then I'm going to lay that one inside this one and again just keeping it all nice and straight you might want to do the bottom of this one at the same time now what I've realized I've done so I may just quickly take that one out is I've got the join of that one on the top and then the join of this one on the bottom and I want the joins the same so I'm just going to add some more glue again so this, you wouldn't have really noticed that it's just me being picky but you want them to be the same really so I'm just going to lay that one down in there like so and then with this one here just going to add the glue on the bottom and on there and then just sit this one and it will just slot into place and now you can really start to kind of shape it push in all of those sides now before you stick this one down I've just pulled it away again I think it might be better if you get your boxes or at least one of them and pop them in here and then stick the side in because that way you know they're going to fit you can see that they're all going to line up nicely so I'm going to just add my glue again I might end up putting little tabs on the boxes as well to be able to pull them up so we'll see but now pop those all in there oh the bottom of that one's just come out I might have to redo that one and then just pop these in okay so I've just flipped it over and then I've just stuck two pieces of three and a quarter by ten and a quarter of the same green cardstock using cloud glue and then what I might do is just push the boxes out because I don't want to get any glue on any of those and then I'm going to stick this onto the bottom here so I'm going to run some of the kalau all the way around Okay, so I've just been playing around with things to decorate the boxes. I was going to have ho ho ho, but it just didn't quite work. And then I also pulled out some of these chunky Santa's hats and I thought maybe having a few of them, but it just wasn't flowing. So what I'm going to do is actually have these poncettias, the little felt ones from Simply Creative that I got. And I just think it's quite nice because then if the person who I give this to wants to keep the boxes, they're quite nice little boxes then on their own with that flower. So they could reuse them, you know, give them to somebody else if they wanted to. But I quite like that idea. And I think I'm going to add some sparkle onto this. And I'm probably going to go over the middle, the middle of the flowers with some Nouveau drops. Just so they're a bit more sparkly because they're quite dull. They're lovely, but there's, I need some sparkle on this. So that's what I'm going to do, I think. So I've just rubbed over the poncettias. It's still just kind of drying, but can you see now all that sparkle? And that's just rubbing over with the, this is the Cosmic Shimmer Glitter Kiss, and it is the amazing Frosty Sparkle. It's just, you have to have it, and you can just brush it over. Let me show you on this cardstock here. Probably not going to pick it up too much there, but you can put it on anything, and then look, it just gives you this beautiful sparkle without losing all the colour. So yeah, I'm going to let that dry, or well, I'll pop the Nouveau drops on now, but that will just dry and uh, yeah, be nice and sparkly. Okay, so there is the finished box and you can see now that's dried even more. Look at all that sparkle on those flowers. And if I get really close, you can see where I've just added in the Nouveau drops there as well, just to just make it a little bit more three dimensional. But I thought as well, I'm not going to have, I was going to have like little tabs or something to pull them out, but you can literally just pull the flower and they are ever so slightly, maybe a millimetre higher than this. You can actually just pull them out as well. So if you want to put little tabs in, you might want to put little ribbon pulls on the openings there. You can do, but I'm really pleased with this and I just need to add a gift tag. So thank you for watching. As always, I'll link everything that I've used in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with another fun tutorial. Bye.